Hey everyone, my name is Sean Arnold and hey, have you heard about all the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! news which came out of Jump Fiesta just a few hours ago? Um, we have finally seen some stills and some uh, videos of the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! anime called Yu-Gi-Oh! 7. Uh, we also have heard about the brand new format of dueling called Rush Jewels. But most importantly and most excitingly, we have now heard about um, the brand new changes to Master Rule 4, which we're going to be implemented and to be seen in the very near future. So we're going to quickly go over the first two things here. We're going to go over um, what the brand new anime looks like and what it could potentially bring. So the brand new anime is called Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. Um, it's, it seems to have multiple protagonists, which is interesting. Uh, it doesn't seem to focus on just one character. You have your very typical anime boy with multicolored hair here. And similarly, his messy uh, boyfriend here with blue hair. So nothing really to ring home about. The only thing I noticed with these characters is that they have a very much of a softer look to them. They're not as jaggedy or spiky as, say, Vrains were. And um, I think I don't understand the reason why for that. The basic synopsis of the story is that the in the not-so-distant future, Goha City is governed by the largest corporation, Goha Corp. Everything from schooling to dueling to dueling rules to much of everyday life. I like this. This is interesting. It kind of gives me a GX Academy-style vibe to it. One, because uh, we it's set in a not-so-distant future, so we still kind of see buildings or Japanese-style buildings which are quite uh, current and relevant to the modern era. So we're not going too far into the future, but, of course, we have um, our big focus on our dueling areas here, very much like we did in GX. So I'm kind of interested to go back to a modern-day style format, as opposed to being very, very far in the future in... Um, imbued with all this technology which we currently don't have or are unable to really recreate in real life and so um that was a picture of this school there this is the new protagonist Uda yuga um 11 years old um he is um as his picture kind of shows off he is a hot red fire style um aggressive duelist he really doesn't apparently he doesn't like listen to the rules he kind of likes to just do his own thing and he is the catalyst of the brand new Jordan format called Rush Jewels. And then we also have two new protagonists here, Luke, or um, I'm going to butcher this, but Kamicho Tatsuhisha, uh, who's 11 years old. So they're all 11 year olds. Um, he calls himself uh, Goha 7th number duelist, and he is your dragon duelist player. And then we also have um, Tsubagetsu Gakuta, who at first I thought he was going to be kind of your Kaiba style or duelist. Um, Totally absent. When you watch the trailer for the show, um, he does have some goofball moments. So um, I don't think he's completely serious like Kaiba is, but um, he can react in certain ways, particularly when his friends are on screen here. Um, the only thing I want to know about this anime is that it's been directed by Kondo Nobuhiro. Now, Kondo Nobuhiro, if you have a look at his um, history of work, he actually hasn't really done a Yu Gi Oh series before, but he did direct some episodes of Card Fight Vanguard, which when you see what Rushals are like, um, yeah, um, it kind of sh uh, see that I kind of see it, the influence there. Not to say they're exactly the same, but these are the brand new style of cards for Rush Dueling. The new style of cards, I'm going to go down there a little bit, look like this, where you have a much larger area for the artwork and a smaller area for the text. Um, it's supposed to be, or it comes across as though it's more about. Um, using the stats of the monsters as opposed to worrying too much about the effects. So, no, I don't think we're going to be seeing anything like Endymion, uh, Mighty Master of Magic um, in a Rush Duel format. Now, Rush Duel is very much similar to Speed Dueling. I haven't got a picture here that kind of demonstrates that or what the field's like, but when you see the anime, his um, dual disc goes from five zones to three, and it becomes very, very much like a Speed Dueling um, format. However, that being said, um, I think this is good news and bad news. Um, I think what we are seeing here is the death of speed dueling, which um, I kind of feel is sad because um, speed dueling was only really, really put into implementation last year. And now um, they're quickly, uh, very, very much quickly ready to get rid of it. I always felt that speed duels didn't have a lot of support um, as a TCG product. Um, we tried to do it ourselves. We tried to play it, but no one really picked it up. Uh, people still want to play GOAT and um, the only way you really got to play Speed Duels is if you play Duel Links, which is still a very, very good app. But um, 
I'm going to be assuming they're going to be trying to bring out a whole new line of products, a whole new line of cars, and these cars are definitely cars which cannot be used in the advanced format, which I don't know if that will be a barrier of entry or people will be willing to buy these cars if they can't use them in, the brand, um, in their normal advanced duels. But I think um, if Konami supports it correctly and we have decent prizes and decent um, reasons to go to tournaments for this one, then maybe it will work. Um, other things that are crazy about Rush Duel is that um, it breaks the rules on Monster Summoning. It uses specialized cards, which we talked about already. You have continuous summoning. You can summon any number of monsters per turn. And mass drawing each turn you draw until your hand becomes five. So, yeah, um, it's good that it's um, actually bringing a whole brand new card to it because it has to be balanced around this new mechanic. But this idea of being able to draw every single turn until you have five or summon any number of monsters per turn is kind of insane. So, We'll see what this really comes out and whether people pick it up and start to play it. I don't think so. I think it's another gimmick that will be ditched in a couple of years. But because we are having Rush Jewels as a format, we are not getting a brand new change to the Master Rule. So no new Master Rule change this year. Instead, we are going to get a Master Rule update. Before that, I wanted to just quickly highlight something I'm excited for. Good Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron. It is a new app that to aid duelists which was announced at the Jump Fiesta. I am actually in love with this. I think um, it's about damn time that Konami started releasing stuff like this, which support the actual TCG game. In the TCG game, we're currently not allowed to use apps in a high level tournament because it has a piece of memory inside of it, so you're not allowed to use it. I'm hoping this will change. I'm hoping we're, we'll be allowed to do things like this to support people dueling and speed up dueling times. So um, this is the life point counter. What's great about this is that it has a log so it shows you how you've changed and breaks it down so it does all the recording for you so you don't have to write um, write it down you can roll your dice, you can toss coins, you can do a timer on it there's also, um, yeah this is a log there too I think that's a really really great idea because um, that way um, you have this um, kit with you where you don't have to bring a pen and paper all the time with you hopefully if it's allowed in mainstream uh, tournaments now um, also it has a um, scanning feature where you can scan cards and see information up on them i think this is also a really good idea i think it's a shame because the most it would be nice if this was to tie into third party sites and show you the prices of cards such as on ebay or so but of course i don't really think they're going to do that but at least you can see information on cards what would be great and what would be really really great is if this acted like legacy of the duelist where on legacy of the duelist if you highlighted the card in their system you can then press a button and it will show you all the cards that relate to this card. Attribute, its type, its archetype, its uh, effect style. It will show you all the cards that relate to it and it really helps out with deck building. But at least with this, you can build a database of cards that you might need to collect yourself. So if you're with your friend, you say, hey, I need to get this. You can take pictures of uh, the cards that they have and that way it will build a deck list for you and then you can go out and buy it yourself. As also showed in the feature here, this looks very, very much like... Um, uh, the dual links deck builder here i feel like they've taken part of that and added it to it this is a database of cards which you can say i think this is also a really really cool idea overall i think um Yu-Gi-Oh! neuron could be a really really useful tool um hopefully it's free i've seen other companies do apps that support their games which they people they expect players to pay for i don't think that's necessarily the best idea but if they do charge people for it hopefully there are some really really good features that are worth paying for maybe i don't know you could do event management through this or um i don't know um maybe it gives you updates and announcements directly to your phone rather than having to go and search out for it so i have no idea what it will bring but otherwise i think this is a really good idea good of konami to start supporting the main game with um electronic devices uh, being everywhere else so onto the main news for today we have the new master rule updates um, everybody knows these by now but just to kind of go over it we are not getting a brand new master rule for this format we are getting an update to the current format and what this essentially is is a breaking of the limitation towards other extra deck format cards um, synchro monsters fusion monsters and xe monsters no longer have to be summoned to a zone which a link monster is pointing to first um, they can be point, uh, summoned to a main monster zone without a link monster zone as well. I think this is really, really good. Um, it is going to really bump up the uh, ability and strategy of older format decks. And I think what we're going to see is a remix of the current um, format. Where we're going to see decks that also we used to rely on previous strategies getting a bit of a boost as opposed to... Um, um, 
as opposed to just introducing a brand new set of cards that everyone has to go out and buy because they are focusing on that and that alone. I really kind of like this overall legacy support to a variety of decks that people have been collecting for years. And I think it's amazing. I think this is going to be phenomenal. I think uh, we're going to see decks like Burning Abyss come back in a strong way because they can just make Dante's for days. I think we're going to see Medolce's get a lot stronger because they are an amazing rank 4 box. I think we're going to see things like uh, Synchro spam strategies happen a bit more. Um, I think it's a really, really good idea. Um, otherwise, the field is still the same. Um, yeah, actually, like I said, everything else is still the same. I'm going to just read out what it says here. As of April 1st, in the OCG only, this has been not confirmed to be true, Fusion, Synchro, and XE monsters will be summoned to the main monster zone. In addition, for the extra monster zone, the rules for linked monsters remain the same. You are not limited to one of each. For Pendulum monsters, they are almost identical with one small pet change. Face down Pendulum monsters in the extra deck, such as Nirvana, High Paladin, can be summoned to any zone uh, the first time, but when Pendulum summoned back to the field from the face up extra deck, they must still be summoned to the extra monster zone or a zone a linked monster points to. Now, um, we have a little bit more information on this. Thank you to Jerome McHale, the legend himself. He has now confirmed that this will also arrive in the TCG at the same time. And I'm actually really excited for this. It means in this season, in this format, before we get to Worlds, before we get to Nationals, before we get to any major uh, final YCSs for the year, we are going to have this rule implemented from April 1st. So, uh, um, I haven't myself watched this video here, but I will link these videos in the description. Um, but the short version of it is you can place exactly the same Fusion, Synchro, or XE monsters that you summon from the extra deck in an extra monster zone or a main stop monster zone, even if it's not being pointed to by a link monster. Link monsters and pendulums must be summoned from the extra deck, still follow the current rule where they must be placed in the extra monster zone or a main monster zone that is being pointed to by a link monster. I really like the shake up. I really, really do. Instead of. Um, Having to go out and buy a whole bunch of new stuff. We are just being shaken up and we are going to have to just reinvent our current attitude and style of play. I think it's really exciting and in a moment I'm going to try and record a video about decks which people may be excited to see or excited to play with this new format change. Massive changes from Konami, really really well done, exciting times here. And guys, let me know what you think about it yourself in the description down below. Are you excited for these rule changes? What do you think the best decks of the format are going to be upon arrival? Or are you thinking this is a mistake? And would you have rather preferred a brand new format uh, change um, to a brand new, say, extra deck type of monster? Let me know what you think down below. And thank you for tuning in. Take care.